gardeners, we experiment a lot with the types of plants that we use in our gardens. It's also a good idea to experiment with different techniques and management practices in our landscape. And one that we've been playing with here is solarization. Solarization is a non-chemical method of killing unwanted plant material. And it utilizes clear plastic sheets that trap the heat from the sun underneath. And it warms the soil beneath. And since the light's still penetrating, any seeds that are still in the soil germinate. And the heat uh, theoretically kills those seeds and seedlings. And it also is pretty good at managing some soil-borne diseases. And one of the uh, key elements is to have a nice moist soil. And what we did is watered before we laid the plastic down. And you can see moisture is still underneath there. So that's working really well. We've pulled up the plastic to see how well it's worked. And this has been in about 10 weeks now. In this area, the first thing we did was actually remove the existing turf. And then uh, we tilled it up and covered it with the plastic. And you can see that there's some dead material here. Some of the plants had germinated, some of the seeds that were remaining in the soil, and certainly some of the grass uh, rhizome sent up new shoots. And there's quite a bit of dead material on the surface. We also find a little bit of living tissue. This is Bermuda grass, and Bermuda is incredibly tolerant of high temperatures. And I'm not terribly surprised to see that we have a little bit of Bermuda growing under here. That's one of the reasons I wanted to try this and see how well it did against Bermuda. Um, but since it's rather isolated, it wouldn't be too hard to go in and hand remove those uh, clumps or spot treat in areas where we do see a little bit of Bermuda. Now over here, we started with uh, very healthy turf. And instead of lifting that turf up, we wanted to try killing it using solarization. And you can see here that um, the foliage on the surface is certainly dead and brown and dried. And I dug down a little distance to look at how the rhizomes were. And this plant, I'll try to orient you, this is the above ground uh, leaf tissue and these are the rhizomes and a little bit of root tissue that would be underground. And starting at the top of the plant, the leaves have died out fairly well. And as we move down the rhizome, it's um, dried and hollowed. Um, there's several dead portions. But as I move down, I do find here, this is still firm. Um, you can kind of see the colors different. It's still alive. It's not incredibly healthy. It would have more of a white color if it was very healthy. But this section in here is alive, and so is the one adjacent to it. And there's going to be some buds in there that would send up new shoots. There's not a lot of root material, and the roots that are on there are dead. So we do see that we're having some effect we are killing the grass, um, but as we get deeper in the soil profile, there's still a bit of living tissue that could re-sprout. And I dug even deeper to see that you don't have to go terribly far to find some of these living rhizomes. We have another area here that we treated the same way, but instead of using clear plastic, we covered it with black plastic. And again, we see this surface kill, um, but as we look down uh, at some of the rhizomes. Um, and if we look over here in the hole, you can see I only dug a few inches down and I have some pretty nice healthy rhizomes. So overall, we are getting some kill, but not to the level that I had anticipated or expected. But I think there's a few different strategies that we could do to try to make this work even better. And what I would do, if I were gonna do this again, I would go ahead and start sooner in the year. We didn't get the plastic down until, oh, the end of June. And what I would do is start at the beginning of June and do the same thing. But then after about six or seven weeks, I would lift the plastic up and rake off all this dead material. And then go through with a tiller and till it. And what that would do is lift those deeper rhizomes up to the surface. And it, it would also cut them up into smaller pieces. And those rhizomes are brought to the surface, we go ahead and cover it again with plastic and now they're uh, up in the top of the soil profile where it's a little bit warmer and they're going to be more exposed to those higher temperatures and hopefully have a greater effect on kill. Now, if you go ahead and cover it and leave it again for another six to eight weeks or as long as possible to get as much kill as possible. 
When you do the tillage on that, you want to chop up the rhizomes in as small of pieces as possible uh, because each little section can sprout and you want them to sprout so that you'll get that kill effect with the solarization. Well, I think it's uh, certainly educational to experiment with some different techniques in your landscape. And I would encourage everybody to do that and to share their ideas with others.